Just so you dudes know, I'm the baddest dude in town. <laughs> All right, I'm glad that's settled. No, you're not. That was a lame. Wow, ass thanks a lot, Chester. Introduction. Hey, everybody. Oh! That's Al Whoa, what's that? Oh! Are you having another deja vu? Deja vu. This is like four or five a day you've been getting, man. That's insane. Dude. Hey, so do you remember me saying this? Dude, don't even do that. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember me saying this, though? Now it's time for our interview. Hey. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome to the interview part of the show. I'm Ollie. Hey, I'm Syphil. Okay. Yeah, we got a good interview for everyone today. And uh, What was I... that? What was what? Oh, that, that was, that's our show waiting. What's show waiting? It's when another show's coming through, and we can, we can click over and watch the other show. Why did it happen? Well, because there's another show beeping in right now. Did you order this or something? Yeah, I, I ordered it. It's great. So we can just... You're wasting just... all of our money on stupid stuff, dude. No. Oh, how are we supposed to know what show it is? Oh, I'm not wasting money because I didn't buy the show ID. That oh, was really great. expensive. So Just let me click it. over. Let me click. We'll be right back to our show. Let me click over. Hold on. <coughs> Welcome to Functions of the Family, your 8,000-step plan to better living. And here's your self-help guru, Paul Rogers. Paul? Hello, this is Paul Rogers. Welcome to Functions of the Family! I ain't got a family! I ain't got any functions! Paul? Why are you doing this to me, Dale? Paul? It's time to tell our friends at home function number one. Why don't you tell our friends at home function number one? Function number one is always remember your family members' names. Yeah, especially if you need bailed out of a prison at four in the morning. Paul? First names are good. No! Paul? It's time for the second. <laughs> it's time for the second function in your 8,000 step plan. What's that? Always remember, love is best when it's a two way street. Remember that one, Paul? Yeah, I remember a three way street with your wife and the librarian girl. That's Paul. food loving. Paul? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Call, 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 yeah, you're an idiot. Do you guys, do you guys uh, have anything better to do than uh, prank call? Yeah, I can prank call you ass again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Eddie. Uh, I know. I'm in trouble. Yeah. Do you know that we can see you, right? Hey, I ain't Eddie. <laughs> what, are you, what are you guys doing here? Oh. Hey, I, I, I gotta go. Yeah, you better go. We better take the next call. Oh, caller, go ahead. Ollie, it's your mom. Hi, mom. Hey, Mrs. O. How you doing? Ollie. What? I, you left your jacket here, and I found a pack of cigarettes in the pocket. I was holding them for Syphil. Syphil would what? never do that. That's right. Smoking is a bad, disgusting habit. You hear that, viewers at home? Um, just throw them away. I don't care. I, I don't know whose they are. Though. I did throw them away. Oh. Mm, I can't believe you, dude. Well, we, well, we gotta go, Mom. We're doing our show and everything, so... Yeah, thanks for calling, though. Yeah, okay. Bye, Syphil. Bye. Dude, you owe me a pack of smokes. Oh, man. What sultry artist mysteriously appeared to frontline soldiers during Desert Storm? I got a hot date tonight with a certain... Well, she's a vegetable, but I can really talk to her. You're unbelievable. Hey, I'm dating one of the four food groups, and that's better than what you've pulled <laughs> off recently. <laughs> I've dated uh, 
I guess I've dated things from the meat group. Yeah, well, the point is, is that I can really talk to her, and she, I mean, I, I look in her eyes, and I think... You see orange? Yeah. Dude, you're, I think you've lost it. Ah, thing. leave me alone. You're happy in love, at least. That's right. Parents are my favorite vegetable, so I went to the farm just to propose to one. Saddam Hussein developed a chemical cloud in the shape of Janet Jackson to seduce soldiers out into the open. Is that really true? No. <laughs> Coming up after the break. Uh, Are you people even listening? Is what I wonder sometimes. Okay, just... <laughs> yeah, I think ICE was here uh, before man. How could ice be here before man? Man came from water, which is not it has nothing to do with ice. No, it does. Okay, it does. Well, no, I think man invented ice, didn't he? And there wasn't ice before refrigerator or freezers. Oh, the ice age was man. Man came before the ice age, I think. No, was there ice age before man? Man thought, came before the ice age. I thought the ice age was like just a uh, a show where there's skaters and stuff. No, that's that's the ice capades. Oh. That's weird. What were we always, talking about again? I don't know. Oh, you better time oh, turn, the turn the anyway. music off. Uh, Pre uh, Precious Roy is next. Um, hi, and welcome to the Precious Roy Home Shopping Network, where, where quality is like a stinking dead rat. You just can't miss it, folks. Precious Roy, let me tell you about it. Oh, the majestic Sasquatch. We've grown to love him. We've grown to love the mystery. But the pranks have to stop. If, you, if you're like me, folks, and you, you live in the city, you're tired of these Sasquatch games. The ding-dong ditching your house. The tapping on the window and showing their butts and running away. In the city, they don't have the trees. They can't hide in the city. Hey, let's... Um this is a great product. This is a great product. Let's just get to some phone calls on it. Um, Are you people even listening? Is what I wonder sometimes. Okay, just queue up that first phone. Next call. Yeah, I run the uh, Bigfoot Club in downtown L.A. Oh, yeah, we know about that. Yeah, my customers come to the club, and they expect to see at least one Bigfoot, okay? But thanks to Precious Roy, everyone goes home with a Bigfoot story. Wow. Incredible, folks. Testimony, you're hearing it here, folks. Everyone has a big foot story. The Precious Roy Sasquatch Feeder. Get it? Let's take another call. Yes, I'm a Bigfoot, and I have to tell your viewers these things are tasty. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible, folks. A Bigfoot himself just told you how much he likes them. What more do you need? What more do you want to hear? Hey, hey, hey. Chill out, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Precious Roy, let's talk to him and find out what the scoop is. Precious Roy. This is Precious Roy. And the people at the bank call me Marty. Yeah, but Precious, what about the Sasquatch feeders? Buy my bird feeders. No, Precious Roy, they're Sasquatch. You guys are suckers. Precious Roy, Precious Roy, making lots of suckers out of girls and boys. 